Hi guys, I'm going to stitch out the teddy bear napkin holder. Um, I've got my cutaway stabilizer hooped and I'm going to use a piece of um, premium felt as kind of a um, like a batting and then I'm going to stitch the design on just regular felt. But because it has a quilting design in the background, I want to make sure that uh, it's thick enough to hold the design, so that's why I'm using two pieces of felt. Okay, and once it's lined up, I'll go ahead and stitch the uh, background design, and I'll come back and show you that. Okay, I've stitched out the uh, quilting design on there, the X's and O's. Now the next thing is going to be the teddy bear. And this is an applique, so there's three steps. The first step is the uh, placement line. Then you cover the placement line with your material and then stitch out the tack down and then trim around the tack down and then run the satin stitch. So I'll go ahead and do that and come back and show you when it's done. Okay, there is the applique teddy bear. Now the next step is gonna put the feet on him and um, they're also applique, so it'll be the placement stitch, then cover that with material, then the tack down, and then you cut around the the, uh, the tack down stitch, and then there's a decorative stitch that's going to um, stitch out before the satin stitch. So, um, and then, so that'll stitch out on both of them, and then the satin stitch will stitch out on both of the feet. So there's four parts to the feet. So I'll go ahead and stitch those and come back and show you. Okay, there are the feet and the decorative stitching in the feet. And the next uh, step is gonna put the muzzle, the muzzle and the nose on the bear. So I'll go ahead and stitch those. Again, those are um, three steps each, the placement line, uh, tack down, and then the satin stitch. So I'll stitch those and come back and show you. Okay, so I did the applique for the muzzle on the nose and the um, two ears. So now the, the next part is going to be the applique for the nose. So um, I'll go ahead and do that and come back and show you. Okay, so there's the bear's nose and his eyes. Now the next step is going to stitch the border that goes all the way around <coughs> the uh, napkin holder. And then um, the last step then is to put the backing on. So I'll just put a piece of uh, felt underneath my hoop and run the final stitch, which will attach the, uh, the backing to the front of the napkin holder. And then um, that'll be all for the first hooping. The second hooping is going to create the banner, which is going to go in the bear's arms. So um, I'll be back and show you that. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to stitch out the um, the hearts for on the banner of the bear napkin holder that I'm making. Uh, I've uh, hooped cutaway stabilizer and I've stitched out the first placement stitch and now I'm just going to cover that with felt and then um, the hearts are applique so there's going to be three parts there'll be the placement stitch cover that with material then uh, the tack down then you trim around the tack down and then run the satin stitching so um, I'm going to go ahead and run the placement line and um, I'll come back and show you when it does the applique. Okay, I've got the uh, the tack down all done. Now I'm going to put my hoop back on the machine and run the satin stitching around the hearts. I'm going to do red around the pink hearts and pink around the red hearts and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, there's the satin stitching around the hearts. Now, um, the next step is going to stitch the decorative stitching around the heart and the letters inside the hearts. 
So I'll go ahead and do that and come back and put the backing on. Okay, there's the hearts done. Now I'm just going to put my hoop back on my machine and uh, put my backing material under my hoop and run the final uh, stitch that will uh, secure both sides together. And then when I come back, I'll show you how to assemble the napkin holder with the banner. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble the uh, bare napkin holder. So I've got everything all stitched out and cut out. Okay. Um, okay, so the little letters for the banner are cut out and then I've, they've, they're like little felties. And I've used a leather punch to just punch a hole in each corner of the letter. I've got one more to do. I didn't put a placement stitch there in case you don't want to add the uh, the hole in case you just want to glue it on. I'm adding the hole so I can add a string. Okay, and then I've got a little less than a foot of uh, twine, and I have a piece of ribbon with it too. I'm going to use that uh, to weave in and out of the letters to make the banner. I've got a piece of um, painter's tape on the end, but I can twist it and use it as a needle. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first thing I'm going to do is line up the letters where I want them to be or what order I should say okay so the L is going to be first and then the O you want to go front to back on these so that the string shows up in the back, not on the front. Or however you want it. Oh, it is again. Front to back. Okay, and then I'm going to get these into position, how I'm going to want them. And I, I want the letters kind of over the hand so it looks like he's holding them. And once I have them in place, I'm just going to take my glue gun and lift up the letters. And put a little dab of glue. You can use any kind of fabric glue you want. I I like hot glue because it holds very well and very quick. And once you get the hang of it, it's very simple to use. So it has kind of become my go-to. And on the end letters, I'm kind of putting the glue so that it gets the, <clears throat> the end of the twine and the ribbon. So it kind of holds it in place because I'm going to turn the ends up. I'm 
just like that. And then it looks like I take my scissors and trim up the, trim up the edges. like that okay and then you take your napkin holder and um, for the backing I stitched out another uh, cover with just the quilting design the XNO quilting design and I'm gonna use that as the backing I will include I will have the uh, design that design included as well and then there's my front I may put another little bit of glue right there to hold that, but I think I'm going to. same on the other side As soon as the hot glue cools, you can very easily remove the little strands. Okay, there we go. And there's my cover. Hope you like it.